Let's look at our isodose distribution from our first optimization. First, we'll want to go to Plan Normalization and change our normalization con constraints. I'm going to select 100% of the dose to cover 98% of the target volume. I'll hit Apply and then OK. Let's look at our isodose distribution. You can see the most superior slice we're underdosing the PTV, but everywhere else looks to be pretty good. So in order to improve our coverage superiorly, I'm going to go ahead and create a PTV opt contour. So I'll right mouse, new structure, I'm going to call this PTV opt. In the type, I'll select PTV and say OK. I'm going to right mouse and copy the PTV contour and right mouse paste the PTV contour under the PTV opt. This creates a PTV contour in the PTV opt and I'll use the pencil tool to draw a small contour just superiorly to the true PTV. This will help improve our coverage superiorly. The next thing to note is the high dose in the periphery. If I turn on the skin rind contour, you can see that this high dose exists right within the skin rind contour. So I can use that to decrease the periphery dose. Also note that the 50% isodose line does a fairly good job of wrapping around the rectum and bladder opt, but we can improve the, the sparing by increasing the, the priority in the optimization. So let's go to planning and optimize and change some priorities here. I'll select start again and say OK. And once I'm in the optimizer, I'm going to transfer the constraints from the PTV to the PTV opt. So I'll create an upper and lower objective for the PTV opt. And I'm just transferring the same dose constraints and priority from the PTV. I will then delete the PTV constraints and this will help improve our coverage superiorly. I'm going to go ahead and put an upper constraint on the skin rind, select a dose of 60 gray, and a priority of 60. And lastly, I'm going to improve the conformality of the 50% isodose line by increasing the priority on the bladder opt and the rectum opt. So I'll change the priority from 50 to 55. We want to see if we can make this any better. And this completes the second optimization for an IMRT prostate plan.